I think the beauty of this industry is that uh, you can travel and get opportunity all around the world. So it's a small community. There's a lot of uh, exchange interaction. So I guess this put us on a global uh, scene. So I started my training in France and I was lucky to start uh, at the age of uh, 19 uh, with the legendary chef Michel Brass as a stagiaire. I learned about uh, the notion of terroir and the notion of uh, locavore for sure because they were uh, one of the first restaurants really focusing on this, on local sourcing, on extracting the best of your surroundings. And as I said, after a few years in France, I start to travel and I work in uh, the Caribbean, I was in Saint Barts, I work in French Polynesia, I work in the island called Bora Bora, I work in London, and then uh, ultimately I end up here in Singapore. Here it's a bit difficult, you know. Singapore has a very limited space when it comes to farming or agriculture. So we have to import the majority of our ingredients. So at first it was a challenge. You need to understand the whole process and the whole logistic. And of course, try to, uh, try to use it reasonably. So we can use amazing produce from Japan, but how do we compensate that? You know, We have to also support the local farm, which we are doing. But the fact is there is not enough space, enough land to feed the country. For me, I'm a bit in a paradox because I'm coming from a place in Auvergne, in Cantal, where we have a lot of agriculture. And now I'm working in a place where there's no, almost no agriculture. I am coming from a very uh, humble background. My family, are, um, they are uh, farming always. We don't have much money, but we always eat very well because my parents, my grandparents, my mom, they know how to forage, they know how to make a big garden, and they know how to cook, they know how to make bread. They, we live with season, you know, for a chef. You can work in Michelin star restaurant or work in some of the top, finest restaurants in the world. But what is important is the taste education that you receive as a kid. This, I think, will leave a print on you forever. We definitely help and push and invite people to cook home. First of all, to realize that it's not so easy. And second, uh, to realize that half of the job of a chef is not the cooking itself. It's the sourcing and uh, finding the right ingredients at the right place and make sure that there is, this is sustainable and make sure that it's on season wherever it's from. So this is basic, basic principle that people tend to forget. There is no only cooking and recipe. Food is probably the, one of the best uh, one of the best way to communicate, share and exchange. And when you learn from food about the culture, habits or, or about uh, people, but it, go, it goes beyond food. It goes with, uh, with who they are, where they're from, what are they doing? And it, this is where it starts to become very interesting. Uh, some people compare food to art or and shift to artist, but to me, to me, an artist is someone that has reached the epitome of his career and that has come with a masterpiece. To me, it's, a, it's dangerous as a chef, and more we travel and more we meet people again, more we learn and more we re realize how little we know and how far we have to go. And I, I guess, you know, I believe that every day we can do better than the day before. We can learn more things, taste, try, cook, touch new ingredients and learn. So we are more artisan than artist. We are artisan actually. And we are just the middleman between the farm and the consumer. People want to have chef's opinion because chef's opinion are under the spotlight. It's a fact.